Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. In order to trick its numerous predators, certain insects blend in with their environment, such as the phasmid, which takes on the appearance of a stick. Ah! The stick has feet! Good thing the narrator just explained that it's an insect that disguises itself as a stick. Wow! He really is the king of disguise, then! Are you crazy? I'm the king of disguise! I don't know why it should be you. Susie and Eugenie are pretty awesome, too. <laughs> Well, duh! I taught them all they know! That's not true! Sam, who's the king of disguise? Wash or your darling little sister who loves you so much? Meeny, meeny, miny, mo, you will be the king of disguise! <laughs> Don't bother looking. I have reached a level where I've almost become a real dog! Oh, one thing I'll say. You sure aren't the king of modesty. Come on, girls. Let's leave the king with his jester. <sighs> I am going to turn you girls into the queens of disguise. Ta-da! Wow! You are awesome when it comes to making authentic-looking disguises. The costume is nothing, actually. The most important thing is to try to embody your characters. Try barking. Woof! 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 Uh, Susie, let Eugenie handle the barking. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have a gas. Just you wait and see. If you are able to fool Wash and trick him into giving you his share of kibble, he'll have to admit that you guys are the queens of disguise. Uh? <laughs> They're coming. Balls in your court. Uh -huh. Is that box there yelping? <laughs> puppies? Oh, they're the cutest puppies I've ever seen. Why am I ever annoyed? You could have told me you had kids. I mean, how long have we known each other? Sam, I'm a fox. Foxes don't have puppies. I cannot be their father. Understand? But I understand how you might be confused after all. I am the king of disguise, so it's logical for you to see me as a real dog. So, what are your names? <laughs> Way to go, girls. Okay, so you, you're gonna be Napoleon, and you are Jean-Michel. <laughs> you are so awesome when it comes to choosing puppy names. Oh, and where do these darling creatures come from? These puppies are under my responsibility. Puppies? Are you sure they're puppies? <laughs> Very funny, Vic. I know a puppy when I see one, thank you! Look what Washington found! What cutie pies! <sighs> but whose puppies are they? They're surely abandoned, and Wash has taken them under his wing! We're gonna take great care of you, darlings! You must be starving! I'm gonna take care of that on the double! <laughs> oh no! Yours are the little boys! <laughs> Honey, don't you think we should talk about this new adoption before getting all carried away? Shh! Not here, not in front of the puppies! <laughs> yeah, no, Napoleon. No, Jean-Michel. Those are for the adults. You've had your dinner. Sam, you're being heartless. They were abandoned. I bet they've had nothing to eat for days. Here, little guys, don't listen to him. He's selfish. I'm so happy the Living Stones are adopting you. Let me make some room for you in my basket. Sam, you stay with them. I'll just be a second. Maybe you should go hide your stuff, no? My stuff? What stuff? These little puppies seem so starved that you wouldn't want them finding a roast chicken under the sofa. Or in the bathroom closet now, would you? Yeah, mind looking after 
talk to them for a sec. I'll be right back. We did it! Wash didn't notice a thing, and he gave you his portion of kibble. You two are definitely the queens of disguise. Whee! And now, as soon as Wash comes back, you take off your costumes, okay? I can't wait to see their faces when they find out! Well, uh, I don't think so. We're gonna stay puppies. It's way cooler than being a canary or a rabbit. And besides, we get three times as much kibble. Uh, say what? Well, yeah! Somebody's gotta eat you Ginny and Susie's kibble, too! Uh, girls, it's great. You won. But now, you're going to take off those costumes. Immediately! You're just jealous, because we're the queens of the sky. For sure! And I bet you just want to pretend you're a dog like us. Listen, do whatever you want, but I will have warned you. Just you two wait and see who has the last laugh. You don't want your kibble? The puppies are going to grow up fast, and soon we won't have any more room in the house. I'd love to keep them, but really, we can't. You're right. But we can't just abandon them. We have to find them a family. I've heard that Mrs. Appleton wants to adopt a pet for her children. Gracie and Alfie? Are you sure? It's true. They are a bit weird, but that's just one more reason. I'm sure the contact with pets will help them straighten up. Ah! Oh, thank you so much. I'm certain that my little darlings are going to care for them as if they were precious treasures. <laughs> Look what I brought you! Aren't they just adorable? No, we wanted a turtle. And you're giving us ugly puppies instead. So and I'm sure you're going to adore them and just look in their eyes. You can tell they already love you. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Napoleon and Jean-Michel have disappeared. I warned you, Wash. A big brother must never let his little brothers or sisters out of his sight. Me, for example, I never take my eyes off Eugenie 24 hours a day. Oh, yeah? And where is Eugenie? Uh, well, she's, uh... Uh, Eugenie? Uh, Eugenie! Eugenie? Eugenie! Eugenie! Oh, she disappeared! <laughs> <laughs> We're the worst older brothers in the world! Stop! Napoleon and Jean Michel are Eugenie and Susie disguised as puppies. What? It started as a joke to prove that you weren't the only one who was a master of disguise, Washington. But I have to admit, it got way out of hand. The girls are prisoners of Elfie and Gracie. But that's just awful. What are we going to do? What do you think we're going to do? We're going to free them. But to do that, Washington's going to have to dress up as a turtle. What? Are you joking? Hey, I thought you were the king of disguises. <laughs> uh, you're disguised as a turtle? Are you sure of that? Be patient while the King of Disguise lets his talent emerge. Look what I prepared for you, ugly puppy. A super dirt cake and a bowl of pebble soup. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Children don't eat puppies. At least I don't think they do. There's got to be some other explanation. There! They're in the toy box! <laughs> My beloved sister! Those little monsters! Come on, I'm gonna, we're going to get our super turtle to swim in the bathtub! <laughs> See the turtle be a submarine. Uh, yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! What are we gonna do? Oh, the horror! The horror! All oh, that water! I'm sorry, I can't do anything. Cats hate water. Yeah, but like, uh, I'm a 
cat too, and uh, since that's uh, water and all. They're irresistible. Kind of like Sam, me. they're not kittens. You can see full well they don't look like cats. What could they be, though? I'm sure I've seen them before. Those? Those are real puppies. I thought you knew how to recognize a puppy, Washington. Ah, uh, well, uh, yeah. Of course, I knew that. <laughs> but hey, look, it's TV. What you see is always distorted. It's hard to recognize things. And there's this glare, gets in my eyes, and I, 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 yeah, I... Yeah, uh, right. Instead of being the king of disguise, you wouldn't be the king of bad faith by any chance, would you? Uh, 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 what? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Okay, thanks, we get it. It's just taking so long! <laughs> uh? <gasps> you, lots of action. It's a suspense. Yeah, right, there's no mystery here. They're just doing spring cleaning. Except it's summer. Our dear owners have simply lost something. They destroy everything in the house whenever something goes missing. They are the wild ones. The last time it was our car keys. Another time it was a tennis racket. The worst of all was the soda bottle opener. They went out of their minds. My beautiful wedding ring. What did I tell you? It's so, so precious to me. And besides, it was my grandmother's. <laughs> I just don't understand. Whenever I'm not wearing it, I always put it there. Okay, let's attack the rest of the house. You want me to use the sledgehammer this time or the wallpaper remover? Ah, the sledgehammer! I was just thinking, what if one of our darling animals swallowed it by mistake? Well, listen, if we don't turn up anything in the house, then we'll go straight to the vet for the x-rays. Did you hear what they said? Yes, they're finally gone. We've got the TV on to ourselves! <laughs> okay, guys, let's all be totally honest about this. Did one of you swallow that ring? Victoria. Mm. Oh, please. If I had swallowed it, I would have spit it out immediately. And believe me, I can tell the difference between a hairball and a ring. Eugenie? Impossible. My metabolism would never allow me to digest gold that is not 100% 24 carat. I admit it. I tried to once, but it got stuck in my beak. Who says it wasn't you, Washington? After all, it's easy to accuse others. One who swallowed the ring! As I mentioned the remote control. No! We've got to find a solution before the Living Stones return. Yeah, what you really have to do is find a way to get the remote control before my soap begins. Otherwise, it's me who's going to be sending you back to the forest. The cake is ready! Magnificent. Right, we're going to have to wait until it's cooled down. 
Listen, I'll give it some thought. We'll look in the yard, but if we don't find it there, we're going to the vets. A simple x-ray and we'll know if it's in one of their stomachs. It's a catastrophe. What's an x-ray, Wash? It's a thing that allows you to see everywhere, see through everything, and guess what they're gonna see in us? Hmm? <laughs> okay, little hint. It's made of metal and it goes up and down. In the elevator? Hmm. Uh, our zippers! Yes! Faster! Up, faster! Up, down, up, down! Come on! Spit! Are you gonna spit out that ring or what? Hmm. <gasps> Watch out! She's looking this way! <laughs> We're gonna have to find another way. So, Sam, is it coming or what? Did you get the ring? Did you? Look, my favorite toy. It's amazing. I was sure it was lost forever. <gasps> Wait, did... expel. Hit, expel. Hit, expel. Hit, expel. Hit, expel. Hit, expel. You got the ring. Uh, no. On the other hand, Susie knows exactly where the remote control is. Yippee! I'm going to be able to watch myself now. I still don't think you get it. If we don't find that ring right this second, we're all goners. Hey there, gang. What do you say to a little outing right about now? <laughs> I hate you all. That, x-rays, zippers, we may as well head straight for the forest right now, guys. No, I haven't said my last word yet. But I hope your stomach is up to this, Sam. Everything okay in there, Susie? Affirmative, Washington, but it's totally pitch black in here. Good luck, little one. Huh? Wow! Did you find the ring? It's not gonna be easy. You wouldn't believe the junkyard in Sam's stomach. Uh, you will what? Awesome. Huh? Oh, that's so beautiful. Where's that music coming from? Did you just turn the radio on, honey? Mm -mm. Susie, this is no time to play piano. The ring! We're here, Susie, quick, hurry up! Well, it's make or break now, guys. Uh, you're here for x-rays? <laughs> uh, but that, uh, uh, that's not possible. <laughs> you have to make an appointment at least 48 hours in advance and put them on a very specific diet. What in the world are you talking about, Vladimir? Shh, you know very well that I hate the x-ray machine. It scares me. And besides, I am, uh, extremely busy. There is no way I can see so many patients right now. In fact, I'm full up. But there's nobody but us here. I must absolutely get my ring back! My precious uh, ring! Do you uh, understand? Oh, uh, uh, very well then. Uh, no problem. <laughs> what I should do is go verify the instructions menu. Oh, uh, what I mean is, uh, Velma, will you please fill out the four admissions forms? Four? One, two, three, four, and... But... But Susie, she's missing. Oh. Can we leave them with you? We have to go back and get Susie, our canary. Come on, Vladimir. Uh. Let's go set up the x-ray machine. Uh. Ugh, and now we have to get x-rayed? You guys sure have given me the royal treatment. <laughs> uh -huh. So? Nothing. It would take a lifetime to sort out everything in Sam's stomach. Yeah. Hey, no one has ever complained about my internal disorder before, and it was already pretty nice of me to let you go rummaging around. Yeah, sorry, Sam, it's true, but you really do eat a lot. You're right, and it's pretty easy to swallow a ring. Anybody could, especially without even knowing it. Ah. Right, so uh, I guess I'll be getting back to the mines. Yeah. Ah, there you are, my 
little Susie. Perfect. I'll just call your owners and let them know while the vet runs you through the x-ray machine. Huh? You are going to climb up there and stand behind the screen while I take your x-rays. And we will immediately be able to see everything you are hiding. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Velma! <laughs> Which button is it again that uh, turns on the machine? The big red button! And the light regulator? Well, you have to place the cursor on zero to turn it on. And then you increase the brightness little by little while turning the little knob on the left in order to sharpen the contrast. Vic, quick, mm -hmm. distract the vet. That way, we'll be able to quickly take off our costumes and we'll put them back on when we step out of the machine. And what's in it for me? Our kibble for the whole week? The pillow next to the radiator? Massages? You get to watch your favorite series on TV every single day. It's a deal. Hmm, weird. Velma? Now! Come on now, Vladimir. I've already shown you a thousand times. There, it's ready. Hmm, no sign of a ring. On the other hand, I'm going to have to prescribe a serious cure for the fat cat so we can get rid of all that junk. Hmm, what do you mean, fat? Way to go, Vladimir. Excellent analysis. I'm very proud of you. Come on now. Quit pretending to be shy. Come out from behind there. So, oh. did you find my ring? She's back! No sign of a ring. Too bad. Here. I wanted to apologize for having lost my cool earlier, so I baked you a cake. My cake! Huh? Oh, how sweet of you. Uh, <laughs> wow! Your ring was there in the cake all along. Perfect. Now, do you mind turning up the volume, Susie? <laughs> Veronica, I have a confession to make. I love you. <sighs> Dr. Alessandro, why, I love you too. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. There we go. Flea treatment complete. You've all been very good. Well done. But where on earth is Victoria? That's weird. She was here two minutes ago. Seeing how she hates that flea product, she must be long gone. It's like she has some sixth sense that tells her when to leave at treatment time. We're gonna have to find her. This year, the fleas are back with a vengeance. Hmm. Hey, Vic, there you are. Yoo We've been looking everywhere for you. Stop it! Shut up, Sam! Keep your snout out of it! Oh, darling, look! Fix up there! Get down from there right this minute! Party, party, party! Interesting. What's up with Vic? Can't you see? She's dancing! Cool dance routine! <laughs> I reckon she's being bitten alive by fleas. 
There you go, Vic. You should have played the game and taken your treatment just like everybody else. You're a fine one to speak out! Your costumes protect you from the side effects of that ghastly stuff! Ouch! And they protect you from fleas! Stop! Well, well, there you are, Vic. Mm -hmm. This time you're going nowhere. I know it smells bad and it makes your head hurt, but at least the fleas are going to leave you alone. <laughs> Get the shelter! Come on, Vic, you'll get over it. Who's up for a game of forest ball? Yeah! yeah! Count me out this time. Go long, Sam! <laughs> are enjoying themselves as much on the other double fur animals. We have a problem. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not scratch in front of them. Otherwise, zip. We'll be up in front of the vet in no time. What if the vet examines us and discovers we're wild animals? I don't want to go back to the forest. There we go. We're off for a weekend in the wild. Be good, little angels. We'll be back tomorrow morning. Oh, what did I do with my sunglasses? Oh, here they are. <laughs> All right, honey, I got the road map. And the tortoise. Stop, stop, silly of me. Uh, huh. What's happened to them? Do you reckon they have fleas? Hmm, but the treatment works perfectly. Victoria's fine. I'll call up the vet anyway. I'll make an appointment for tomorrow morning when we get back. What a nightmare! <laughs> we cannot let that vet examine us. We have to come up with some solution to get rid of these fleas. No, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> that feels so good. Good idea, Sam. Everywhere. That's what we're gonna find out. <laughs> what an awesome party! Yeah, whoever organized this is a genius. Yes. Does it work? Right. We're gonna have to find some other idea. <laughs> Well, what a cute little dance routine you got there. This is not the time, Vic. If we don't ditch these fleas before the living stones get back, we're done for. Help us, Vic. What can we do to get rid of them? <laughs> to do that, you'll have to find them a better place to live. Like a mansion with a mud jacuzzi? No, another animal. But don't worry, there must be hundreds of untreated pets around here. Hey, Vic, you're a genius. <sighs> but why do I have to do this first? That's the way it is. We drew lots. Trust me on this. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> hmm? What's up, Sam? Lost your way to your comfy Sophie? I 
anything. Hey, I was looking for you with my buddies. We just wanted to say that... The what? That you're an awesome neighbor. We all wanted to give you a big hug to say thanks. Uh? <laughs> Ew, what's that smell? Wait, I'll go see. I don't know what it is. It looks like a trash can with fur. Nothing compared to our double fur penthouse suite here. <laughs> what's wrong with you? I mean, what have those guys been putting in your food lately? To think I'm the one everyone calls wild around here. They're really clinging on. I don't think we have many options left. Who needs the vet? We get our hands on the flea treatment and blam! A quick dose on our real fur and problem solved. You ready? Careful, Sam. I don't believe it. What kind of vet is this guy? There's everything but meds here. Weight, 59 pounds or 13 ounces. Oh, no, Sam! 59 pounds and 13 ounces? That's impossible, Wash. The guy inside that thing is lying. <laughs> the animals! Shh, calm down. Did you hear that? Sounds like there are thousands of animals out there. Oh, it's nice warm fur. We're right, and it sure smells good. Maybe it's time to throw the party of the century. Yay! Moving on. Thanks. You can sleep easy now. Come on, let's go look for our treatment. You know as you heard it, right? <laughs> It's the vet! Quick, let's get out of here! What about the flea treatment? I'd much rather live in a cold forest with fleas than get caught hanging around here. Let's go! Oh, what are the... Do something! Look at them, Vladimir! I shall never forget you, you little marvel of technology, you. What are you doing? Farewell, Sofa! Farewell, TV! Farewell, lovely home! Thank you for all the good times you had! We're home! We came as quickly as we could. Oh, poor little honeys. Looks like they're at their wits' end. The vet will be here any minute. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone, good day. So, where are the patients? I can't take it anymore. It has to stop. This torture has to end. What torture? You stopped scratching. Yeah, you're right. But that means the fleas must have gone. At last, someone with a brain cell. But how come I didn't notice? I have good news and bad news. The bad news is my clinic suffered a flea invasion last night and I don't have the usual product in stock. Yeah. <laughs> but the good news is we get to try out a totally new treatment that's even more powerful. <laughs> Uh, right. The only complicated thing about this product is that it has to be swallowed. Awesome! It's breakfast time! I say, your animals sure are cooperative. Hang on, where's the other cat? <laughs> Come on, Vic, you'll get over it. It's a good thing we got away with it this time. I hate swallowing tablets! Hey, I wonder what did happen to our fleas? Hey, it's you, Hadley. How's it going, buddy? Cool place here, huh? Huh? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We'll be back tomorrow. 
Don't get up to anything naughty. Yeah. Look how cute they are. Whatever could go wrong. Yeah. A whole weekend alone. Awesome. <laughs> this is going to be the longest weekend of the year. Yeah. yeah. We can sit in front of the TV and eat everything we want. And above all, we can totally hang loose. <laughs> Straight from the forest floor. Really? Maybe it's time to clean our outfits. You sure, Wash? Remember last time, it didn't go well at all. Yep, but this time, I found the instructions. So everything's gonna be hunky-dory. Phew! It's easy, you'll see. Any fox cub could do it. I can't wait to see this. With you around, generally the word easy means catastrophe. There we go. Now, I just have to press this little boy. <laughs> awesome. I know how low you guys can sink, but this time, you've really excelled yourself, Wash. You don't believe it. What am I gonna do with this? Hmm, you could play dolls. I don't understand what happened. That machine is completely nuts. The Living Stones have to get a new one. All we can do now is um, order new costumes. <laughs> nice try, Susie. I don't like to be the one to tell you, but dogs don't bark like that. Believe me, it takes years of experience like I've had to pull it off right. wouldn't have missed this for the world. And it's so much more fun than being a bird disguised in a bird. Order placed. Our new costumes arrive tomorrow. Until then, we can just take it easy and enjoy a the TV marathon! I'm done with dance routines. Let's see what else there is. We are very honored today to have Professor Jones in the studio, the well-known hunter and collector of rare species and unusual specimens. His museum contains wonders of the animal world, many unfamiliar to man. Wow! So, Professor, what do you make of this footage of a small flying dog that has gone viral on social media recently? Is it a hoax or is it a genuine scientific discovery? I'm not quite sure. But what we do know is that evidence of this legendary creature's existence can be found in many sources. Sometimes it plays a role of messenger to the heavens, but in later writings it appears as a retriever of sacred flying discs and as an archivist of bones. <laughs> Joking aside, if the creature does exist, you can be sure I shall track it down and you'll have all the answers you need. Everybody saw it! And now there's a unicorn hunter who's coming to get you! Yeah, you're sure to be a big hit in his unusual specimen gallery. Okay, let's not go overboard. He'll never be able to track us down. You reckon, Washington? Then what is that outside? <laughs> he would have recognized the house from the video. He's good. I don't want to be stuffed. Quick, you gotta get that costume off, Susie. Why? <laughs> hey, <laughs> hands off! I don't want to take off my new costume. I want to stay being a dog. <laughs> Just when I thought you can sink any lower. You're on your own here, guys. 
<laughs> uh oh, sounds like it's coming from the garden. It's Professor Jones. He's coming to get us. Quick, head for cover. <laughs> Owners must have gone away for the weekend. Good. I can set up my equipment. Hmm. Atrocious craftsmanship. That fox has a ridiculous face. And such coarse fur. Well, anyway, I have a job to do. Time to get moving, old fellow. Ah, what do you mean I have coarse fur and a ridiculous face? What are we going to do? He's gonna come back. We can't stay in the house. You're right, Eugenie. We have to get outside. We'll go hide in the garden shack. <laughs> when he notices there's nobody in the house, he'll leave. In the meantime, we have to get that costume off again. <laughs> much choice. We have to get back inside that house and find Susie before Professor Jones does. Infrared check. Movement sensors check. Gamma rays check. Garden and house traps check. Hmm. That flying dog will never escape my clutches. <laughs> Nobody move! Jones thinks he's clever, but little does he know he's dealing with an expert in cutting-edge laser technology. <laughs> Smooth move, expert! Movement detected. Run! Take cover! <laughs> Sam! Come back! <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna skip a meal! Dog is mine! Hi, oh my! Sam has fallen asleep in his kibble bowl! Again! Mm -hmm. Let's go! We're the only ones who can save them now! Hey! Hey! Susie! Target defined. House cat. A vulgar house cat? <laughs> time to pull out the heavy artillery. This time you won't get away. No dog can resist this. Not even a flying dog. Calm down, girls. We still have to get rid of Professor Jo- <laughs> hmm? uh, You'll see if I'm a real dog or not, Wally! Uh, Give me that little uh, Susie! Come back! It must be a trap! <laughs> <laughs> no! Susie! <laughs> At last! Soon this flying dog will be stuffed and exhibited in my museum. <laughs> What are we gonna do to save Susie? And where's Sam disappeared to? I must have died and gone to heaven. What? What on earth? Are you sure this is really necessary? Incredible! I've hit the jackpot. What fantastic specimens! They must be mine! Use this diversion tactic to release Susie from the truck. I'll go look for Sam indoors! <laughs> Sam! It's me! Quick! We gotta reach Susie and Eugenie before Jones arrives! No 
Okay, that's enough flying dogs for one day. Phew. Right, let's get out of here. What? <laughs> a fox, two balls, and a blackbird? I've never seen anything so mundane. <laughs> All that effort for nothing. Uh -huh. A flying snake has been detected in the southern region of... A dragon! Shoot! Ah! How dare he call us mundane? Here we go! Our new costumes have arrived! Ah. Oh. Uh, maybe I got the sizes wrong. I don't believe it! You see that? It fits like a glove! I've always dreamed of being a bird! I can fly! Yeah. I never thought you guys could sink quite so low. But looks like I got it wrong again. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Exterminatrix? What a joke. We don't need pest control. We've got two cats. They'll keep us mouse free. Hey, where did Sam go? <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Sam, what do you think you're doing? Hey, I'm just hanging out with Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> but, Sam, you know very well that cats don't hang out with mice. It's against the law. Cats are meant to chase mice. Why? This kid is my buddy. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm your buddy. Dogs are a cat's best friend, not mice, okay? That's not true. This kid gives me cheese. When's the last time you gave me any cheese? But, Sam, look at him. He's taking you for a ride. It's obvious he's hatched some plan in the back of his mind. Hmm. I don't see anything hatching in the back of his mind. Listen, Biscuit isn't doing this out of friendship. He's doing this so that you leave him alone and he can have free run of the Livingstone's house. It's blatantly obvious. And what is blatantly obvious to me is that you have zero cheese to give me and that you're totally jealous that Biscuit and I are big buddies. <laughs> Vic! Biscuit is in the kitchen. You gotta go chase! <sighs> in your dreams. Biscuit and I came to an agreement two years ago, so I don't have to go chasing anything. An agreement? What agreement? <sighs> See you later. <laughs> oh. Is your cat too old? Or oh, perhaps too dumb? Does he fall asleep every time he sees a mouse? Then call the Exterminatrix! Your 24-7 emergency pest control solution! Huh? Uh, row, 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 row! What's got into you? That's enough, Washington! Row, 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 row! Whoa, 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 row, row! Honey, whoa, can't whoa, you see row. he wants to play? All right, but then sleepy time, okay? Come on, whoa, whoa, fetch, whoa, little whoa, doggy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, go fetch, Washington. Maybe he wants more. What in the... What's got into you, Washington? Ah, the mouse! Sam, catch the mouse! If you so much as lift a finger, you can kiss goodbye to cheese forever. Get it? Mm-hmm. Oh, this time we need a real specialist. <laughs> it was horrible. It was like the mouse had cast some weird spell on Sam. Hello, exterminatrix? 
Alfie Snout, a.k.a. the Exterminatrix, at your service. I cannot bear mice. I never could. When I was little, I was pursued by mice. You wouldn't think so, but they can be ferocious. Uh, I smell a rat. I'll be back later. Ciao! Don't worry, sir. I've got the solution. Wow, see that, girls? We're dealing with a true professional. What's going on? Oh, there's this weird guy who turned up. No idea what he's doing here. So oh, where's yeah. the crime scene? <laughs> there! Mission accomplished! Sam, there's nothing we can do. That's just the way the world works. The mouse turns up, the mouse gets caught. And nobody can do nothing about it. Do you need a handkerchief? Not at all. Before I became a mouse detector, I was what they once called a nose. I worked for the greatest perfumers, Bilberry, Kevin Clown, even Coco Caramel. Caramel number five was my own. Until one day when my assistant, jealous of my success, sneaked wild animal fur into my latest perfume, which gave the perfume a disgusting scent and ruined my reputation. How horrible. Horrible, yes. The stinking odor of wild animals has never left me. And I can tell you, you've got much more than mice here. What do you mean? You don't want to know. I've got it all figured out. How what? about you go for a nice walk around the block? I'll take care of this. Oh, what's going on? It's the middle of the night. Our dear little pets have to... There are wild animals in here. I'd bet my nose on it. Don't worry, guys. I'll get rid of those stinky critters and two shakes of a skunk's tail. With my amazing sense of smell, I never miss my target. Let the hunt begin. All the exits are blocked. We're done for. You'll send this bag to the forest for sure. Never. Follow me. Smells great, huh? It's Biscuit's cheese stash. Vic, what are you doing here? I, I, I know it's wrong, but I so love cheese. It's too delicious. So I came to this agreement with Biscuit. He supplies the cheese, and in exchange, I leave him alone. What? You both made the same deal with Biscuit? Don't you see? That's why we're being hounded by that maniac, and now we're inches away from being sent back to the forest. It is. If you hadn't woken up the living stones... What? You did that? Because of you, my buddy Biscuit got captured? Of course not, Sam. Biscuit isn't your buddy. I'm your buddy. <laughs> Somebody you are. You snake in the grass. Get me out of here. I'm sorry, Sam. I'm sorry. Sam, you're my best friend. I'd do anything for you. <laughs> if you want, I'll go free Biscuit myself. Go on. And if you do release him, maybe I will deign to look at you again. How are you gonna do that? Mm -hmm. I shall hide inside a piece of cheese to conceal my wild animal odor. So? So the exterminatrix won't be able to smell me anymore. And all I'll have to do is sneak up to his backpack and release Biscuit. Wash, you're amazing. I'll come with you. <laughs> I don't believe it. I've lost their trail. Sam, now's the moment. Let's go. That's weird. It's like the wild animal stink has been replaced by something else. It's not polecat. It's not skunk. It's, it's, it's worse. A totally new species. I'm about to discover a totally new species. It looks like Wash's plan hasn't turned out so good. What an incredible odor. It's disgusting. I've never smelled anything like it. Quick, we gotta help them! Uh-uh. Totally out of the question. It's a great plan. It's 
sure to work. Girls, you really think I'm gonna parade around dressed in a stinky cheese in front of that guy just to save Sam and Wash? What if I get caught? That's just it, it won't matter. There's no danger for you, you're just a standard issue pet cat. Standard issue, huh? I see, the answer is no. Oh. Um, I wonder what the cats in the hood would think if they found out that you stuff your face <laughs> with cheese in secret. Especially in exchange for a mouse's freedom. Uh, it's okay, I was just kidding. Of course I'm going to help you, on one condition. You never say a word to anybody. Promise. So, what's the cheese with the biggest stink? No, please, have mercy. Not the seven-year chabashu. A new odor. What is it? It's, it's incredible. Even worse than the last one. It smells like a species that doesn't even exist. I'm about to discover a species that doesn't even exist! That's enough! What's going on? Let us in! Sam, hit his legs and make him fall! When he's on the ground, we release Biscuit! Ah! Ah! Mission accomplished! Now everyone, head for shelter! Victory! I've got you now, you vile unidentified creature with your putrid odor! Thanks to you, I'll be famous again! I have just saved your home from a new species of wild animal, as yet unidentified, but especially ferocious. What have you done to our cat? Is she covered in cheese? Well, I, I, I don't get it. My sense of smell has never let me down before. I'm so sorry. I really am. Uh, but I did catch the mouse. At least that's something. Yeah. Mm. This is amazing. Make the most of it. Not every day will be like this. It's only because you saved my skin. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. And next time, vengeance will be ours, amigo. First to the sofa gets to choose a TV program. Come on, maybe you could try it from the opposite direction tomorrow. Back already, huh? Sounds like it's coming from behind the house. Whoa, what is he doing? Do you see that, Sam? What do you think it is? A surprise. It's a guy who decorates things in secret, so when the owners come back and see them, they have a big surprise. Awesome. You think he wants to surprise the Living Stones, too? No idea, but sure is pretty. Hey, you! Oh, no. Why'd he leave so soon? He didn't even finish his surprise. <laughs> I've always dreamed of being a delinquent. How about we all prepare the Living Stones a surprise? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah! You'll see, it'll be amazing! <laughs> My eyes, I can't see anything! <laughs> yeah? Uh-oh, if your plan was to surprise the Living Stones, you sure did a great job! Uh, oh, no, 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 not our costumes! No, so that wasn't the plan then? Not groovy at all. Quick! We have to wash our costumes straight away. <laughs> Lucky the Living Stones have gone out for the day. 
we're back already! Oh, those spots! What are they? Honey, come quickly! I think Wash and Sam have gotten some weird disease! Ah, you're hideous! Quick, let's get them to the vets! How troublesome. How very troublesome. What? What is it? What's up with them? I have no idea. But, uh, what I mean to say is that I need a little time to, uh, uh, to compare the photo with my database and carry out further analytics. In the meantime, huh? I advise you head home. We have to find some way to wash these spots off. Otherwise, that vet will finally find out we're wearing costumes. <laughs> Don't worry, my secretary will keep you posted about just how, uh, your pet's disease is coming along. Okay, plan B. We gotta get out of here. Let it be. Uh, we can go on lunch break later. It's still only 10 o'clock in the morning. And I do believe you have sick animals to attend to. Okay. Hmm. So, where do we think these little red spots have come from? Phew. I'm gonna lock this door, Vladimir. I know what you like. Call me when you found the problem. Call me when you found the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear that, Wash? The door is locked. Don't panic. We'll find some way of getting out of here. No. I don't know yet. We need a sick. There you go. What was I telling you, huh? You. Yeah, we're here. Uh, oh dear, that looks serious. I'd better move on to business stuff, or Welba won't let me have any pudding again. We need something to remove the paint! Remove the paint! <laughs> she understood. Now we just have to wait for them to get back. How does it work? <laughs> well, now you're going to be proud of me. They have acute inflamed boobinitis, a highly rare disease that died out several centuries ago. Incredible, huh? Vladimir, I knew we'd turn you into something someday. The illness is caused by a dangerous virus that is extremely contagious. Virus? Extremely contagious? Uh, 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 Put on a pair of gloves. Uh, Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Well done, Vladimir. Uh, Don't move. I'll go see who it is. Vladimir! Uh? Hiya, buddies! What? How on earth Here did you... Here we go! Mission accomplished! Your day has come at last, Vladimir. A cute inflamed boobinitis is back and you've got a cage full of specimens! a press conference within the hour, and we're gonna show the world and its greatest specialists what this extremely dangerous virus is about. 
an extremely dangerous virus. I'm too young for this. I still have so much to live for. So many acorns to eat in. Okay, let's calm down, all right? Sam, let me remind you, the spots are red paint, and it's only paint, okay? Right now, we've got to get out of here and fast! <laughs> Impossible to open from the inside. Your cage is not lock like mine. All you have to do is push it. Uh, ah. Well done, Wash. You're amazing. Don't thank me. Thank our new buddy. Thanks, buddy. So why is your cage locked? Sometimes I get these mood swings, so did that put me in a special cage? But if you'll lend me a hand, the opening is below the door. Hmm? I always knew that us cats could count on each other. Us cats? Hmm? <laughs> but you're not a cat, you're a tiny dog. I'm not actually a dog, I'm a cat. A cat! Meow! Meow! And I hate dogs! Uh, everything okay there, buddy? Now I got this right. He's a dog who's a cat who doesn't like dogs, right? I'm sure there's some hidden message in all this. Enough! That dog's going crazy! I got a dog and I'm not crazy! What's going on, Velma? I've got to choose which bow tie I'm going to wear for our video conference. <laughs> ah! They're going to contaminate us! Vladimir! Duty is calling, Vladimir! Your press conference with the world's greatest specialists is about to start any minute now. Mm -hmm. This is your chance, Vladimir. Be a man and show some guts! You're right. I need a net, gloves, a protective mask. <laughs> easy now, easy. You know, Washington isn't really a dog. He's actually a... Sam, don't give away our secret. <gasps> a cat. Hey, I'm actually a cat, too. Meow. Meow. Yeah. You all gone completely crazy? Huh? Is he being serious? My word! It looks like acute inflamed boobinitis has even more serious side effects than I'd first imagined. Pull yourself together, Vladimir! You're pathetic! Easy now, we're real cats. Huh? Yeah, we love clawing the sofa, purring all day, and eating salmon kibble. Isn't that right, buddies? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Looks like we got ourselves another crazy mud in our tails. A uh, dog? I hate dogs! Video conference activated. Hello? 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 Mushy, mushy. Hello? What just happened to us, guys? That story was complete nonsense. You're right. It was really weird. Not only are our careers as delinquents over, but our costumes are still covered in red spots. Don't forget that in three, two, one, it's time for the automatic sprinkler! Yeah! yeah. play together. Hmm. That, for sure, is quite unique. 